the best on BBC Hereford and Worcester. And Tony McDonald's with you until Malcolm Boyden from 10 o'clock this morning. We've been talking about how new research has revealed how women find it much tougher than men to walk into a gym. About 2.4 million fewer women than men say they enjoy exercise, according to new research from the This Girl Can campaign. What's your experience? Um, do, do you avoid going to, to the gym? You're worried about what people might think of you when, when you walk in there maybe you are not in the best shape and you want to start exercising you want to get yourself in shape but you're worried about what people are thinking of you the, the what you're wearing what you're there for do you avoid running alone are you comfortable in the gym do you exercise how do you exercise safely and enjoy it as well or maybe you found something that you enjoy doing for exercise you, you found your class you found your tribe as uh, Marie was saying earlier from uh, Happy Feet. Um, let's uh, speak to Michael. Morning, Michael. Morning, Tony. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. Exercise, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I, I love the topic that you're discussing. And um, from a man's point of view, I know you're focusing on how women feel, and I totally concur how they might be feeling, but I feel the same. I've never enjoyed going into a gym with machines, even running machines mm. or weight machines, because usually there are men with huge biceps and, you know, very toned and muscular, pushing 10 kilos. And when you go on the machine, you just bring it down to two. You kind of feel embarrassed, you know, and... I found that the feeling doesn't last with doing exercise on your own. Really? Because Yeah, it just doesn't last. You know, if you go for a jog or go to the gym for a session, mm. you feel great at the end of it, I have to admit, but mm. it just doesn't last. But research has also shown that group exercise, and you explained this earlier with what you're doing, Group exercise has a different dynamic and a different feeling because you're doing it as a group. And if you put on top of that a game, when you play a game doing some kind of sport, gentle exercise, then the dopamine and serotonin and oxytocin, all those good feeling chemicals increase even higher. And a lot of research has been done on that. So when I introduced pickleball in Worcestershire mm. um, last August, and I'm doing this for uh, the U3A, which is University of the Third Age, so people that are a little bit more mature, yeah. like me, over 50 plus, and we've been doing this since last August, and it's been amazing. People absolutely love playing this game. So people need and to find something fun and maybe to, yeah. more, more inclusive to be able to get themselves out. Yeah, absolutely. If you do sport and it's a game, uh, any kind of, okay, I'm talking about pickleball, but it could be tennis, badminton, anything where you're connecting with people and you're playing a game. So you're doing a little something that's a little bit more competitive. And people have literally turned around to me and say, this is addictive. <laughs> and they come back every single week. They're fighting over spaces. I've so put a booking system in place. Because people absolutely love playing a game. Fantastic. And if people want, want to pick it up, where, where can they come to? Well, they, they can come to me because I'm the, I'm the county rep for Pickleball England in the whole of Worcestershire. And we're only just starting, so bear with us. We're trying to get it into different places. But if they go to wireforestpickleball.com, then all my details are there. People can get in touch with me. And we can hook you up to play pickleball somewhere in the county. Um, but we haven't got many places yet. You know, I'm, I'm going to Worcester this afternoon to play with some people to show them how to do it properly. We're going to Droidwich Leisure Centre tomorrow to see what they can do over there. So it will take off, but we're not everywhere yet. But don't just worry about pickleball. Take, take up any kind of sport where you're doing it with people. And by the way, they've also proven, you know, spin classes were really, really popular yeah. when they're done in group format. 
um, not on will. your own. It's a bit boring on your own. But when you're doing it as a collective with other people, this is the it's this connection we want with other people. That's it. Yes. It's it's all about yeah. the group, isn't it? Michael, thank you very much. That that's uh, Michael Pickable. Sounds good and, and sounds like fun, doesn't it?